A lot of us know what these devices are. These are Amazon Echo Dots. The one on the left is newer than the one on the right. The one on the right, I believe, is the second gen. And what I'm going to show you today works with the second gen and the first gen. This is a third gen, and it will not work with a third gen or a fourth gen. So we don't need that anymore. What I'm going to show you today is an alternate thing that you can do with the device. You may have never thought of this, although the premise is entirely simple. I have the power cord here, and we'll plug it in, and I'll plug that in, and we'll turn it on, and she's going to get herself booted up in just a moment there. There we go, the ring is on, and it's going to go through its motions, so we'll let it just boot up for a moment. And obviously it works, so if I just say, Alexa, how are you? I'm in the mood for a joke. What's the sweetest day of the week? Ice cream sundae. Okay, that's funny, great. So, uh, anyway, standard fare here. Years ago, a couple of years ago, Amazon used to make another device called the Amazon Tap. That was more like your standard um, Echo device. It was tall. And it was marketed as a Bluetooth speaker that was Alexa enabled. Can't take her name in vain, of course. <laughs> Uh, anyway, because of that, it ran on battery power. And the way it worked is it had a touchpad or something, and you would just tap it, and it would wake up, and you'd say, Alexa, give me the weather. Uh, Alexa, give me the news. Tell me a joke, whatever you do. And it would go and do all that stuff. You didn't need to pay all of that money. Let's unplug it. That's a USB cord. And this end is actually a micro USB plug. We'll plug that back in. And now, over here, I have a USB battery bank. So yes, you can battery power your Alexa device. There it goes. It's booting up. You can see the entire wire right there. It's running solely off of the battery bank. So we'll let that boot up for a moment. So now if I say, for example, Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you call an ugly sweater on the world's cutest dog? Pugly. All running right off the battery bank. So yes, you can run it. Your next question is, well, how long will it run? All right, so now we get into the fun part. If you have a car, and you fill it up with a brand new car, and you fill it up with gas, and we're not going to talk about electric vehicles, you fill it up with gas, and the question is, how long is that tank of gas going to last? Well, that all depends. Do you want to know in miles? Do you want to know in time? Because that can vary. In time, for example, you can go and take the car, you know, drive it like a grandma to church every Sunday, so to speak. And that's all the car gets taken out. That tank of gas can last you four months, maybe longer, depending how far the church is. If you go to work every day and you sit in traffic for 45 minutes every day, you're going to be filling that car up once every week, week and a half, two weeks, whatever it is. Well, how many miles will you get out of the tank? Well, that depends. How fast do you drive? How hard do you drive? Do you drive like an absolute maniac? Maybe if your car will get, let's say, 400 miles on a tank, but you put pedal to the metal at every, you know, every light, 
you're not getting 400 miles to the tank. If you drive like the grandma who goes to church every Sunday, you might even get more, more than 400. So the answer to the question is, it depends on usage. This particular battery pack is rated at 30,000 milliamp hours. I have tested this setup exactly like this and without much usage, when I say without much, querying her for the weather or an occasional joke or one little quick thing where she responds, maybe a little Wikipedia article never you know, now and again. This 30,000 milliamp hour rated pack has run this for about three days straight. The Echo Tap that they used to sell where you would tap it like that was rated at eight hours playtime. So what does that mean? That means that if you say play music, whatever kind you want, and you play it at a moderate volume, in other words, not as low as it goes and certainly nowhere near as high as it goes, you can get eight hours of playback. I expect you can probably get a good eight hours of playback if you're playing back music. But if you're just leaving it to sit around, it can last for three days. Oh, what, what's that? Oh, you, you have one of these third-gen ones? Or a fourth-gen one which, which bounces? Because it's a ball? Ah, you're not out of the running. You can't do it directly, because those are the ports you get. Headphone jack and a barrel jack connector. No good. This won't work. But, like I said, you're not out of the running. It so turns out, they make a battery pack that snaps right on the bottom of this. And does exactly what this does. You gotta buy it. Oh, and guess what that's rated at? That's right. Eight hours of playback time. So yes, you can even do it with the more modern ones, as far as for the, um, the latest one that's a ball like that. Do they make a battery pack for it? Uh, I didn't look. Might be there. If it's not, give it a few months. They'll make one. I'm sure they will. For this, they used to make a, and they probably make it for this as well, they used to make a wall bracket or an outlet adapter so to speak and basically they gave you a shorty cord and a plastic holder and it would just plug into your electrical outlet and stay on the wall like that very convenient they make it for this also this obviously is larger as you see like that I'll move that back so you can see a little bit better but yes you can indeed run these off of battery power. And how long it's going to last, well, like I said, that is going to depend entirely on usage. You don't know how long it's going to last until it runs out. And then, if you repeat that usage over time, you will get a general understanding of how long it will last based on that usage. But just a little hack there. Yes, you can run your older Echoes and this works for the standard Echo that's, you know, yay tall or so. It works for that as well. Uh, might have less runtime because it's a bigger unit. I know it had better speakers than that, but the circuitry probably isn't as refined, so that may be the case. Anyhow, yes, it can be done. You can do it yourself. You don't have to use a 30,000 milliamp hour rated one. You can use a little tiny one. Pretty much anything USB is going to run it. For how long is the question, and that's something you're going to have to find out on your own. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.